So hey, this is Jeff Komar from Avid, uh, and in this module we want to take a look at, in detail, the master module, which I'm sitting in front of, uh, on a 16 fader, 5 knob deep uh, M40 S6 system. Uh, and we're going to dig in and take a look at some workflows of working on this, this particular music track. There's a lot of different ways to access and to view uh, your track elements on the surface. Uh, and we really want to look in this module, specifically at the master touch module, and how we can kind of get our hands on the important elements uh, efficiently. So let's dig in. Um, I'm actually uh, sitting in front of the, the tracks page um, on the master module, and you can see it's a, it's a nice color-coded view of 72 tracks. Uh, if we hit play on the track, you can see we have metering, uh, the, the colors right from the from the DAW, in this case Pro Tools. Uh, we can see if we set up our template in such a way that, uh, you know, for example, our vocals are, are yellow. Uh, you can see all the drum tracks in blue, and it's a great reference. We also have that reference on the desk. If we bank around, you're going to see those colors kind of navigate you to know what you're looking at. So if it's blue, it's drum tracks, right? And if it's yellow, we're looking, looking at vocals. It's very, very useful. Um, so I can scroll through here. I can also format this in several different ways. Uh, for example, we can come in here, and this is the local little gear option uh, from the tracks page, and I'm going to tell it to display breaks on track color. And that's going to give me this really cool view that basically um, uh, justifies everything based on the colors. So if I'm quickly looking for the lead vocals, hey, there they are, they're in yellow. If I'm quickly looking for the guitars, um, I can see, hey, they're right there. Let's just solo up some of the guitars. So from this bar down here, you can see I can then go into solo mode. And let's just listen to a couple of the, uh, the guitar, electric guitar tracks, for example. It's very, very easy to isolate uh, individual elements that you want to work on. Now you can see record, input, solo, and mute are available for, for anything within your, um, your track uh, page. Uh, let's go back and let's actually just go uh, turn the display breaks off. But I'm also going to enable auto bank to attention track. And I'm going to show you what this does for you. Uh, essentially, it allows you to automatically navigate the faders on the desk based on where you touch. So for example, if I was looking for those guitars, and I basically come in and I say, let's go to attention mode, which is, which is like focusing. So if I, I focus on any track, it's going to show up right here. Right, right on this uh, attention fader, which is uh, directly in front of me, and it's a great way. Hey, let's look at that electric guitar. Focus it. I can isolate it. I can hit play. I can now, um, you know, kind of audition that particular element that's um, uh, that's that's coming in here. Um, let's go to the guitar chunk and just isolate that for a second, and we can hear that individual part. So attention is all about finding a particular element that you want to grab, and it's going to bring it to you on the attention fader. Okay, so now enabling that preference allows us to literally touch anywhere in the tracks page, and you can see the desk is justifying to basically give me the track that I want. I'm going to go to the settings real quick here, and we're going to show you the justification. Right now it's set to left, which is right here. Um, it could be it could be right, it could be any orientation based on the master module. And what that means is, uh, if we go back to the tracks page, we come back up here, and I'm going to touch the bass track. If I touch bass in attention mode, boom, my bass is right here, left justified, and then the guitars follow, and obviously I also have the bass track accessible on my attention fader. So it's really, really efficient. So, okay, so now that we've got kind of the idea of the attention tracks matrix, let's actually go one step further and talk about operating on the track that you're searching for. So uh, let's say we want to look at the hook, okay? So I'm going to go grab, in attention mode, I'm going to go grab the hook, and um, that obviously came over here. Now, I'm sitting in front of uh, the master module and what we call the automation module. And this is incredibly powerful in terms of soft keys and being able to look at automation and memory locations. I'm just going to really quick hit the memory location button. This is a very, very powerful way to say, you know what, show me the, the pre-chorus, show me the chorus, show me the bridge, show me the verse two. So if we just go to, let's take, let's go to chorus two and let's hear the hook. And boom, we've got the hook. Right, very, very quick, efficient, and I'm accessing that from memory locations on the soft keys, one of many, many different views that you can access uh, right in front of you. So 
once we have that, <clears throat> let's just go and press the home button. Now the home button is located at the bottom left hand corner of the master uh, touch panel. Now what this is going to do for us, it's going to basically show us an exploded page of every possible thing you could possibly uh, control from that attention track. So you can see right now we have this thing called the function scroller. And the function scroller allows me to see at a glance, hey, I can see the EQ curve, I can see the panning, I can see the routing, the inputs, the sends. I'm just going to quickly go and swipe down the EQ, and it's going to go and give me <clears throat> my primary, my first plugin that's on there, which is an, uh, a DMG uh, Equality EQ. And the beauty of this is that whether it's an Avid plugin or a third-party plugin, I have a predictable way to control all of those bands. So I'm controlling the, the high mid band and I can, you know, I can tighten my cue if I want to a bit and come back in here. But this is a predictable way to control any equalizer that exists as a plugin in your Pro Tools session and is controlled from the desk. Now, if we want to go look at the compressor, I can literally go down and swipe the compressor. Up comes FabFilter Pro C2 and I've got a really great way to um, adjust the primary parameters of a compressor. Com uh, threshold, ratio, attack, and release are always going to show up, and I've even got a gain transfer curve um, for, for that guy. So now you can take this a step further, and you can actually do a combination of views. And let's just say I want to keep the high, um, high mid band and the high shelf band there, uh, but I want to actually see the compressor at the same time. Well, I can actually lock this off, and then I can swipe down dynamics. And so what this just did is it kept my, my EQ over here, uh, but then it also gave me uh, dynamics on the left side. Now, I'm going to dig into the gear here for a second. And uh, we're going to make sure this preference here called Auto Show Function Graph on Selection is turned on. And I can set it for, let's just set it for a, a second. That's fine. Let me explain what this does now. If we go and lock off the dynamics, let's just press the little lock there. And you know what? We can even swipe the pan down. So if we, let's just solo up the hook. We can pan, you know, pan that hook anywhere in the stereo field, okay? I can go and play with the, the mid band. And what's going to happen is the master module is automatically going to show me the appropriate graph depending on what I grab, right? So anything from dynamics to uh, EQ to um, the panning on that, particular, on that particular channel. So it's a really powerful way uh, to be able to get different views kind of in context. Now I can certainly unlock and I can swap something else in. Let's just say I want to I want to play with the delay that's being used on the hook, right? I want to send more of the delay in. That's that's really simple to do. And now I've got delay and I've got EQ. So I can you can choose pick and choose what parts you want to actually access very intuitively. Um, so let's just go back to um, kind of this overview here for a second, and um, uh, I'm going to bring up the EQ. And if I want to get to bands that are beyond what I can see visually, I can actually hold down the shift button. And you're going to see all of this light up purple. You see the bottom buttons on the master module light up. That's going to allow me to quickly get to my high pass filter and my low pass filter. Right? Really, really handy if you want to roll off some, um, you know, some, some problem um, low frequency uh, with regard to any given track. So I have access to that. I can literally just page through and I've got dedicated control of that. Okay, so now while we're in this view, without having to go back to the tracks page, I can access the universe scroller. And this is really powerful. What this allows me to do is if you set up your template in such a way that you have uh, intelligent color coding, I can literally look in here and say, you know what, I know I've got a bass track. I need to work on the bass track next. So let's just go swipe into this range. I know it's purple. Okay, it's actually that track right there. Boom. So what happened is it basically gave me the track that I was looking for. Uh, I'm, I'm zoomed into it, and now I can go and access um, a, a processor on that track. So I want to go and grab the dynamics. Okay, I'm going to touch dynamics and I'm going to dock it on the left side. So we're controlling the Brainworks BX Console E from that same predictable set of controls on the surface. I can see threshold ratio, attack, and release, and I have intuitive control over the dynamic processors on the desk. I have a color-coded function scroller where whether I'm controlling EQ, dynamics, panning, sends, it is all easily accessible for the attention track, and I have the ability to control Avid or third-party plugins essentially the same uh, because of that predictable layout.